Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is March the 30th, 2016. You know, I can't believe that tomorrow marks the end of March. Where has the time gone? Anyways, today is also known as National Doctor's Day. Hallmark suggests that you send your doctor an appreciation card. Yeah, I bet they do. As of 6.01 p.m. Eastern Time, we have had 188 earthquakes strike the globe. The most intense comes to us from Indonesia. This was a 5.4. Papua New Guinea clocked in a 5.1. And the Mid-Indian Ridge experienced two today, a 5.1 and a 4.9. Pahala, Hawaii, has experienced four thus far, the strongest being a 3.8. While we are in the area, we'll see that Kushiro, Japan, was shaken by a 4.8. Our pals in Russia were also shaken by a 4.8. And our neighbors in Alaska experienced a 4.7. Speaking of Alaska, the numbers look to have finally stabilized. We've only clocked in 24 for the day. Washington has experienced 8. Amboy, Darrington, and Friday Harbor were all shaken. These quakes were all very minor, though, the strongest of the three being a 1.1. The remaining earthquake struck in and around Mount Rainier, the strongest there being a 1.5. Oregon has only registered three today, Lakeview with a 2.1, Molala with a 1.6, and a 2.4 that struck about 13 miles from Fields Peak in Canyon City. California has had an interesting day, Ferndale was just rocked by a notable 4.6. This occurred just 13 miles from the Escanaba segment, care of the Gorda Ridge. That is an interesting event, all right, considering the multiple volcanic edifices running through the area. We'll definitely keep our eyes peeled for continued unusual activity in this region. Outside of this, Alum Rock was struck by 3.1. This area has actually been incredibly busy today. 13 have struck. The majority of the quakes experienced have exceeded a magnitude 2. Alum Rock is about 60 miles outside of San Francisco, and it really is no stranger to earthquakes. In fact, it is located on the Calaveras Fault. Alum Rock was struck with a 5.7 in 2007 that broke several windows, damaged a few buildings, and even shook the Bay Area for about 15 seconds. Before we mosey along, we'll see that Lake Arrowhead experienced a tremor today, a .8. I actually have family located there. I wonder if they felt anything. Anyways, outside of this, the normal areas experienced seismic activity, with the exception of the geysers. They have already clocked in 26 so far. That's fairly substantial even for this area. The strongest being a 1.3. Nevada has definitely returned to normal after their recent impressive earthquake swarm. Today, they have had only 22, the strongest being a 1.5 in Love Rock and a 1.4 in Hawthorne. Yellowstone has shown some movement today as well. West Yellowstone in Montana experienced a 0.6, and Wyoming clocked in a 2.1 at Old Faithful Geyser. Oklahoma has been incredibly quiet, only one experience so far, a 3.8 though in Medford. Littleborn, Missouri experienced a 1.4. And, finally, Tennessee registered two earthquakes. Tiptonville clocked in a 2.2 and Dyersburg with a 2.0. So, with all this being said, we continue to see the more intense earthquakes striking around the Ring of Fire and even off the coast of California. Outside of this, we saw multiple earthquakes rattling Mount Rainier and movements along the new Madrid seismic zone. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would like to chat, please post below. We'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe. Share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night. Hoorah!